Hello. I'm already out the door this morning. Um, got to get over to my sister's to help her set up for the garage sale, but it's a morning of I can't find anything. So I couldn't find my price tags. Finally found those. Didn't know where my wallet was, but guess what? Pretty sure it's in my car, in my unlocked car all night in my driveway. Yep. And there it is. I mean, seriously, y'all leave your credit cards and everything sitting in your driveway all night, right? Well, at least the van started right up. I was uh, worried that after getting the new battery, it might be the alternator. I literally had a nightmare that I got in and started it and it didn't start because it was the alternator and not the battery and I just spent 150 on nothing. Oh, but anyway, when I say I was being lazy last night, I'm not kidding. So, um, one of the kids' favorite YouTubers, Mariah Elizabeth, posted at 3 o'clock yesterday. Oh, it's actually chilly. Ooh, I love it. It's like a fall morning. Um, at three o'clock, Mariah Elizabeth posted, and that's one of the things that Victoria and I watch together. I'm so grateful for Mariah Elizabeth's videos because it's like family friendly YouTube that I can watch with my daughter, and you know, we enjoy her crafts and art. Um, you know, you know, if you're a parent and you're watching this, you understand there's very little things that you can enjoy with your kids. So I sat down with her and watched that, and then we kind of went down the rabbit hole of YouTube for a while and then um, my husband came in and I got to spend some time with him which is so rare he like he shut off for a little while and we sat and talked and it was so nice and we had dinner we all had dinner together and giggled over some sniper wolf videos and <laughs> I didn't get that shelf painted it was brilliant I'm okay with it. So I didn't get half the stuff done I wanted to get done last night and I don't even care. You know, it was one of those nights where I, that's the best part about being self-employed is I don't have to care. I, I didn't get anything done and it's okay. I'm still on schedule. I was ahead of schedule, now I'm on schedule. I'm okay, as long as I don't fall far behind. I'm down with that. <laughs> roll that sucker up at least halfway fix this mirror there we go my husband moves around the van and then he'll accidentally hit the mirror or victoria or me i don't even know maybe it was me and then uh <laughs> it doesn't take much and that mirror is out of alignment and they don't realize that if you do that I can't easily fix it. I gotta get out, get back in, move it around, get out, get in, get out, get in, get out, get in. <laughs> the one window that would break, why it have to be this one? So the guy that fixed it was like, well, you're gonna have to get you a new door because it was all rusted off or I could weld a bracket in there and leave it up. My husband went, well, put a bracket in there. I'm like, of course, because God, you know, it's not like it would ever be hot in here. I don't have air. Might not ever need to roll the windows down. Let's just cook her. Let's just cook her. I'm gonna have to find a door, seriously. But my husband, I love him, and I do. Because he's a sweet man. But he just doesn't think sometimes. Well, we'll just weld it in place. It's cheaper. You know what? Sometimes the cheaper option ain't the right option. So, you know, like the battery issue, <laughs> his plan was to keep jump starting the damn van. I'm like, no, no. I said, well, 
I just stopped and got a new battery. You did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I may be stopping to get my hair fixed too. And my window. But now I'm like, why don't we just pay someone to do it? And my husband's like, I can do it. I can change the oil. I'm like, you could, but you're not going to. And then my car's gonna seize up and I'm gonna be mad. So I'm just gonna pay for it. Well, I can do it. I know you can, but you won't. Oh! Oh yeah, and I almost forgot when I woke up this morning, I'd made an Etsy sale. So you remember the uh, terrain I sent to Switzerland and I showed you how I packed it? It arrived in perfect condition, got a five-star review. They were thrilled with it. So that's wonderful. The packing did its job. But just, you know, I sold that one and then this morning I woke up and it, I looked at said Etsy sale $200 and I was like, $200? What'd they buy? <laughs> Cause I don't have, a, I don't have a lot of pieces that are that price. And I looked at it and it's an old man, uh, transfer rare, iron stone, gorgeous. Tureen, another Tureen. Gorgeous. It's one of my favorite pieces when I found it. I almost cried. It was so beautiful. It's in perfect condition and it's going to Australia. And I went, oh, another international shipment. Because I told the guy at the post office, I'm like, oh, this is like a year's worth of envelopes for me. Oh, no, no, no. I need more envelopes. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'm like, Australia? expensive stuff, but stuff that is in perfect condition that if it broke, I would be like heartbroken. Have to go such a long distance. I'm at the intersection to turn and go to my sister's and she just texted me. Are you coming over? <laughs> I'm not texting her back. I'm just going to pull into her damn driveway. I made it. She knows I'm here now. Uh, she broke her ribs. She is bone dust and gristle, y'all. My sister's getting old. Oh, getting old <laughs> for sure. Oh, God. All right, so we are here. She broke her ribs and needs my help, so she's glad I'm here right now, and we're going to get this garage sale knocked out. <laughs> Remember, I picked up that troll book the other day. My mom had these trolls and her stuff. My dad's getting rid of them, but look at the faces. They're coming home with me for sure. Jenny, Jenny doesn't want them. What do you think of trolls, Jenny? They're creepy. <laughs> we all think they're creepy from my grandma, but they do remind me of my grandma. These are gonna be peeking out from a bathroom shelf every time Jenny has to pee. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Jenny, Hi. we're getting everything almost ready. I'm going to come back tomorrow, but it's starting to look good out here. So we've got our Christmas section. We've got our table set up. Easter. It's going to be a great sale. Some cute chairs. We're getting rid of chairs and lamps and get looking from the front. That's the way to walk up to a garage sale, right, Jen? Yeah. 